Hello, this is Janet Eifert. Today I'm going to show you how to change a fraction to a percentage. To do that we first have to learn how to write equivalent fractions and how to simplify fractions. At the end we're going to do word problems. So let's get started. First we're going to look at equivalent fractions visually. So 2 fifths, 2 out of 5, shade 2 out of 5. It will be 1, 2 and there's 3 unshaded left. OK, so let's see if we shade the same amount of this bar here. Now we can count how many did we shade. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We shaded 8 out of the 20. In other words, 2 fifths is equivalent, is equal to 8 twenties. OK, you try to do the next one. Pause the video to do that. Now there you go, there's your answers. Please check. OK, now when we calculate equivalent fractions we cannot draw diagrams like this every time. So we need to do something else. Let's see, 5 is equivalent to 20. We can see that. That is the same thing here. So 5 parts equivalent to 20. So let's see, how do we get from 5 to 20? It is 5 times 4. So you need to times by 4 at the top as well. Why? Because if you times by 4 over 4, you times with 1. And that is basically leaves that number the same. So you didn't change that number, therefore we cannot add or subtract or we can divide because if you divide by 4 over 4, you divide by 1 and therefore it stays the same. So the only thing you can do is times and divide. You cannot add and subtract. OK. Therefore if we say 2 times 4 we do get 8 so that method works. Let's look at this one. 10 times 2 is 20. 7 times 2 is 14. So that method works. OK. Let's move on to the next worksheet. Therefore, we are going to follow that method to change these fractions into these ones with these new denominators. The bottom number is a denominator. OK, so let's see. 8 times what gives us 32? 8 times 4. Yes, so 5 times 4 gives us 20. Shall we look at this one? 8 times what gives us 16? 8 times 2, so we times by 2 at the top as well. 5 times 2 is 10. OK, your turn. Pause the video and you do the rest. Now there you go, there's your answers. As you can see, you need to be good in your times tables. Therefore, please, if you are not, please watch my multiplication one video that will help you to become better in your times tables. OK, pause the video to check this. Now, the next one, we want to simplify fractions to write it in the simplest form. To be able to do that, you need to see what number you can divide both top and bottom numbers of the fraction with. Therefore we need to quickly just look at our divisibility rules. <coughs> A number can be divided by 2 if it is even and if the last digit is even it is the, that last digit can be 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Like for instance the number 78 is even because it ends in 8. The number 75 is not even because it doesn't end in a 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Yeah? Okay. A number is divisible by 3 if the digits 
is divisible by 3. The sum of the digits. So let's look at the number 5, 1, 6. 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 6 is 12, and 12 is a multiple of my of 3. In other words, it is divisible by 3. Let's look at this number. 5, 1, 7. 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 7 is 13. It is not in my 3 dumps table, so that is not a multiple of 3. Okay, a number is divisible by 5. It ends in a 0 and a 5, like for instance 60 ends in a 0 or 75 ends in a 5. They are in my 5 times table. How do I know a number is divisible by 7? You don't. You simply have to divide. So look at my division videos. Divide with a bus stop method. Check if a number is divisible by 7 by doing that. 9 or for the for what we did need to know for this video to simplify fractions you can get away with just knowing your 7 times table. Okay, is a number divisible by 9? The sum of the digits must be divisible by 9. So let's look. If we look at 81, 8 plus 1 is 9, and we know 81 is in our 9 times table. Okay, if we look at 108, 1 plus 0 plus 8 is 9, it is in my 9 times table, it's 12 times 9. What is... 9 times 9 is 99, so 9 plus 9 is 18. And then 1 plus 8 is 9 again. You have to apply that rule again. So that is how you can check something is in my 9 times table. A multiple of 10 ends in a 0. So 20 is in my 10 times table. 200 is in my 10 times table. Okay. Okay, let's move on to the simplifying worksheet. There you go. Now, we're going to divide the top and the bottom number by the same number. So let's look at 8 and 12. What number will divide in both of these? Can you see that they both even? In other words, we can half them. So we can half... We can think I divide both of them by 2. I divided by 2, 4. 12 divided by 2, 6. But now we look at this answer and we think it's both even again. So we're going to divide by 2 again. Both of them. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. In other words, that is 2 thirds. You could have done it in one step and you could have noticed that they both in my 4 times stable. A divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So whatever you see, whatever works best for you, depending how good you are on your times tables, the better you are, the faster you'll be on this. So if you learn this for a mental math test against the clock, you need to be good in your times tables and you need lots of practice because these help you to become better. So if you're doing something like QTS, you need to really practice these sheets a lot. Okay, it's now your turn. Please have a go at the rest. Now, just checking, did you notice that you could divide both of these by 3? Did you notice that you could divide both of these by 5 because they both end in a 5? And that was dividing by 3. What was that one? It ends in a 0, that one, that one ends in a 5. In other words, we could have divided by 5. There you can divide by 6 or half it and then divide by 3. Okay. Now pause the video if you haven't and try to do the rest. 
Now there you go, there's your answers. Please blow pause the video and check them. Okay, now we can work out equivalent fractions, we can simplify a fraction. Now we need to look at what is a percentage. A percentage is presented by a fraction with a denominator, a bottom number, a hundred. So, there we have a fraction, a hundred blocks. What fraction is shaded? Let's count in tens, that's the easiest. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. In other words, 50 out of 100. And what is that percentage then? What is that fraction as a percentage? 50%. Okay, you have a go at this to You try to do them. 10, 20, 30, 40. So 40 out of 100, so 40%. You need to know which numbers multiply together to make a hundred. Now this is only whole numbers we talk about here. And this will be your different combinations with whole numbers to make a hundred, which you need to change a fraction to a percentage. So please try to work this out and learn them. Pause the video if you want to have a go at that. Now there you go, there's your answers. Please check them. Please make sure you can do this well. Or you have them written <coughs> on a piece of paper next to you. So you can use them on the next sheet. Pause the video if you still need to mark your answers. Okay, now we are going to use those combinations to make a hundred now, to write equivalent fractions. Now, you might not know yet what a quarter is as a percentage, although I must say most of my students do know that when they come to me. But let's see why that is the answer really. We're going to think four times what gives me a hundred, that is four times. 25. In other words, we need to go and times by 25 at the top as well. 1 times 25, 25. So 25 over 100 is 25%. So now you know <coughs> that your method works t for a quarter equal to 25%. So that's good to know because then we can trust this method. 2 times what gives us 100? Yes, times 50. In other words, we times by 50 at the top. 1 times 50 is 50. In other words, 50%. That is why. OK, it's your turn. Please pause the video and do the rest. Now there you go, there's your answers. Please check them. Did you use here 20 times 5? Now how did you do that 19 times 5? There's two ways to do it. You can go and write down your... Well, there's many ways to do it. It's up to you what works for you. Some people do this. 5 times 9, 45, 5 times 1, 5 plus 4, 9. Yeah, that is 1. Now, if I want to do that mentally, I would just think 10 times 9 and 9 times 9. So 10 times 9, 90, 9 times 9. Okay, 10 times 5, isn't it? And 9 times 5, that's what we need to do. 10 and 9 gives you 19 and 5, so that is what it is. We are going to split the 19 up in a 10 and a 9 and times it by 5, that's what we're doing. 10 times 5, 50. 9 times 5, 45. We add the two together, we get 95. Okay, so that is a mental method which you would do in your head. 
do you not have a pencil and paper with you? And it's also a method that you can quickly think, just write down the 50, just write down the 45 and quickly add them up. If you are working against the clock, that will be a good method if you're not that confident with that one. Please watch my multiplying videos to help you with that. Okay, did you notice you have to times by 20 here? Times by 20. If you say 3 times 20, just 3 times 2 is 6 and add a 0. There you can say 10 times 5 plus 7 plus times 5, yeah? Okay, pause the video if you still want to mark your answers. Now, there is a little golden rule we can follow, and that is fraction simplify and that per then percentage. So if we have a fraction, which isn't like the ones we did before, where the bottom number is not one of those, you can multiply with a whole number to get a hundred. There you have to simplify first. So if we look at three twelfths, you can see that that would simplify to one quarter. And by this time, hopefully you immediately know it's 25%. If you don't, you would think I times with 25, I times with 25. Four eighths is a half, so it is 50%. 50 over 100. Okay, now you try to do the rest. Did you see this one? You can just immediately, by dividing by 2, go to the answer. Now what is half of 190? If you don't know, I mean mentally I would do half of 100, half of 90. If you don't if you're not good with this, go back to your bus stop method. 2 goes in 1, it cannot. Reminder 1, 2 goes in 19. 9. 9 times 2 is 18, so there's one reminder. 2 goes in 10, 5. In other words, 95. What would you divide that by? 500. How do you get from 500 to 100? Yes, divide by 5. Okay, pause the video if you want to complete that. There you go, there's the answers. Please make sure again you can do those. There's lots more practice in your workbook. We're on page 7 of the workbook. So you can download the workbook to practice more examples there. Okay, we're going to move on. Now, we just need to quickly check, can you de do these sums with and without a calculator? We already know you can do them without a calculator. 8 out of 50, if you got 8 out of 50 for a test, which will not, hopefully, not be a maths test, because it's not very good mark. If you got 8 out of 50, and you want to work out that percentage, you know now that you can write it as an equivalent fraction. And then you know it's 16%, okay? Now, if we have a calculator, we can do this with our calculator. So what we're going to do, 7 out of 28, 7 out of 28, you got that in a test. We times it with 100. So on your calculator, you're simply going to put this in. If you have a scientific calculator, put that in as a fraction with your fraction button and times with 100. Or if you don't have a scientific calculator, just from top to bottom, 7 divide 28 times 100. Yeah, from left to right, top to bottom, like that. Now please be very careful because I've seen strange things happening here with my students where they would do this totally wrong. If you really forget how to do this with a calculator and you really need to, just quickly do a very simple sum that you know. You would know that a half of 
10 is 5. I've not seen a student who don't know that. A half of 10 is 5. And then quickly put this number in the order you think it should be in your calculator. See if you get a 5. If you do, you did it right. So 1 divided 2 times 10. Okay, that is the way to do maths. If you can't remember, just do something you know how to do and then apply it on other numbers. Okay, pause the video to finish this. There you go, there's your answers. Please check them. Pause the video. I just have a few word problems here. There's a lot more in the workbook. So, please try this and pause the video for that. Okay, there you go. There's your answers. Please check them. Now, if you want more practice, please download my workbook. And if you need to know anything more about fractions, percentage and decimals, please watch my other videos. And thank you very much for listening.